Yo, what's going on guys? It's Sinner Skater here and we had another huge Black Ops 3 update today. It looks like this is going to be the big July update and I'm going to be sharing everything that you need to know from the patch notes in this video. If you guys want to see every single detail, I have the patch notes linked down below. But um, I'll go through most of the big stuff within this video. So let's just hop right into it. First things first, of course they added support for the Descent DLC which is coming out tomorrow on PS4. Uh, I was actually watching the live stream this morning. They premiered the multiplayer trailer for Descent. So if you want to see that, I'll have that link down below in the description. They also showed the Garad Kravi Zombies intro, which looks absolutely fascinating. I'll link that down below if you want to check it out too. But DLC support, you know, of course they're going to do that. Another thing that they updated was the groups. Uh, you can actually look up certain players to invite. So say you have like, you know someone... Uh, or say you want to invite me, you don't have me as a friend, you can actually look up my name within Black Ops 3 and then invite me. So that's kind of cool. Uh, groups have been, the player limit is now up to 100,000 players, and there's a bunch of other little small improvements with that. Uh, PS4, they have this PS4 play together thing where you can invite this entire PlayStation Network party to a game, which we've had that on Xbox, I didn't know you didn't have that on PS4, but... You have that option now. And then on Xbox, there's this note where they say there's this new complete your season pass feature within the game store. I don't know what that is. It's not, I can't find anything in the game store right now. It kind of sounds like there's like maybe challenges to do with your season pass, but it's probably just some, I don't, I don't know what it is. Uh, we'll have to, if you guys know what it is, comment it down below. I'll keep you updated, but... It was in the patch notes. Now, new big thing. There's a new game mode called Fracture, where I'm going to read you the description that they provided uh, right now. It says, pick up core files dropped by fallen enemies and deliver them to the Fracture site. Depositing the core files earned score for your team. The first team to reach the score limit or the team with the most deposited files at the end of the time limit wins the match. So what this is pretty much is like kill confirmed, where when you kill an enemy, they'll drop some files. You can hold up to 10 files, I think they said. And then you have to go deposit these files in the Fracture sites which is kind of like uplink or capture the flag uh, the fracture site only goes up for like a certain amount of time it takes a little bit of time for you to deposit your files and it's gonna be an interesting game mode. I'll talk more about it when it actually releases and speaking of which is not live now it's gonna be going up this Friday about 10 a.m. like everything else usually comes out and you know they're gonna be premiering it this weekend it's gonna be in the bonus playlist we'll learn more about it then pretty excited for it because it seems like it calls for a completely new kind of gameplay style to work with your team within Black Ops 3 which is very exciting because um you know team play is not really a much of much of a thing in Call of Duty compared to the other uh, first person shooters now uh, we had a couple black market UI updates where you know it the black market looks completely different uh, they also fixed some issues where crypto keys wouldn't be rewarded from certain contracts and activities so you don't have to worry about losing out on crypto keys now they finally Fix the uplink jitter bug. Thank God. Oh my God. That was so annoying. You pick up the uplink ball, or like a weapon or anything like that, and you just start jittering up and down. It was really, really annoying. They finally fixed that. And other bugs that they fixed, they fixed the camo glitch where if you had like, I know for me it was dark matter camo. When I'd put dark matter on my guns, uh, once you exit out of the game and log into the game again, it'd reset your camo and you'd have no camos on your gun. You have to go in and put all your camos back on your gun. So they fixed that. Thank God. I think they uh, that bug popped up when they fixed the like infinite camo glitch where you could copy camos. Like people were copying haptic to other different guns, so you could do that. They fixed that and kind of broke it, but it's fixed now. Let's go. Uh, some tuning things. Prophet's Tempest got a little buff now. One shots kinetic armor and the uplink satellite armor buff. Uh, I'm guessing before it took more than one shot. Now it's only one shot, so that's kind of cool. Uh, the Banshee Shotgun got a little damage reduction against some score streaks. The GI unit no longer explodes upon impact. Like, you'd call it in and hit the ground and automatically explode. It happens sometimes. I know it happened once to me, and they finally fixed that, which is kind of cool because, you know, you get, like, the second highest score streak in the game. You call it in, and then it blows up on you. It's not really that cool. Um, you know, a couple more things. Codcaster updates. Uh, if you guys are into CODcasting, there were a couple of arena updates where uh, one of the things that popped out to me was probation is no longer given when a player leaves a match when they're outnumbered by two, which is good for arena because you don't want to be getting pub stomped. But I'm saying, yo, let's get this into the public matches for losses in pubs. Like, you know, you join a match, you're getting absolutely spanked, and then you leave and you get a loss. Where, like, if you, if you stay in and you know, kind of suffer getting killed over and over again, your loss stat is prevented if you 
finish the game. But I'm saying we should get this little arena probation update in the public matches. So, you know, just a nice little quality of life update. And, you know, last thing, we had some zombies fixes. Setsuba no Shima had a bunch of bug fixes. A lot of them had to do with Thrashers and the KT4 and a bunch of little glitches with that. And then each of the other maps had a couple updates with them. But that's pretty much it. No big weapon buffs or stuff. Just a bunch of little random things here and there that, uh, you know, was enough to make a video about. So that's that. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Um, tell you the plans for this week. I know Wednesday and Thursday for sure going to be my Descent DLC videos. Friday will probably be your first try Fridays and maybe some Fracture gameplay. Maybe it'll go up on the weekend. Maybe I'll live stream some Fracture on the weekend because I am for sure doing a live stream this weekend. And uh, as for tomorrow's video, we may do a Descent video. I may just take the day off. I don't know. But you can expect some more Descent DLC coverage throughout the rest of this week on my channel but with that guys hopefully you enjoyed let me know if you're excited for the new fracture game mode down below if you are excited for any of the other patch notes that i mentioned and as always i'm sitter skater thanks for watching be sure to subscribe for future black ops 3 content if you aren't already like the video if you liked it dislike you disliked it and i'll catch you guys on the next video peace out